Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie. Things are going to start getting a little tricky in this lesson because today we're going to be learning. I have to learn how to shut off notifications on there. Today we're going to be learning how to pronounce the S on verbs and on nouns. Now that happens when we're working with the simple present tense using the third person singular, he, she, it. So we would have an S on the verb. And then we also have an S on any nouns, any plural nouns in the same sentence. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, let's see how uh, that works. Let's go into our document. And we're going to get rid of the top stuff. Voila, just like that. So, okay, so we're doing the pronunciation of S on nouns and verbs. So just listen to um, how I pronounce this. He likes apples pears, and bananas. She plays with kittens, puppies, and dolls. It buries balls, bones, and sticks. And that's how you do it. So uh, now just listen to these sentences and repeat after me. My dog likes bones and other treats. A lot of my students, they do not pronounce the S on the verbs or the nouns, but you absolutely have to take your time and pronounce the S on nouns and verbs. And it gets a little, not harder, but you just have to concentrate more of, on what you're saying so that you actually pronounce them. He blames the girls for that. She dislikes spiders and snakes. He works with his hands. Marco lives with his friends. He sells cars, trucks, and motorcycles. Grace thinks that cookies are better than muffins. Ruby writes short stories and poems. It weighs 40 pounds. My aunt moves every two years. Martin obeys the rules in class. Sheila wears jeans almost every day. Brian borrows all my movies. Anne likes braids and bows in her hair. Tony needs more nails and screws. Diane irons shirts and pants really well. She uses pictures and examples when she explains the lessons. So that sentence has a lot of S's in it. Mr. King paints bedrooms and bathrooms, but not kitchens. Alice orders the blankets, sheets, and pillows from the catalogs. He goes to restaurants, museums, and shows often. Karen cheats on all her tests and exams at school. Mark sends emails and jokes 
to us every week. She wants flowers, decorations, and many guests at her wedding. Mary spends her money on shoes, coats, hats, and belts. The maid cleans bathtubs, sinks, and showers, but not toilets. She grows bean, no, start over. She grows green beans, carrots, and cucumbers in her garden. He brings snacks and drinks when he travels. It takes years to build a business. She knows the names of all the students. He collects stamps and coins. Uncle George repairs bikes and broken toys. It costs thousands of dollars. Elizabeth wears rings on her fingers and toes. She makes slippers and mittens for the kids in her spare time. My mother keeps the plates, cups, and bowls on the bottom shelf. Chris scribbles on the lockers and desks at school. He works days, nights, and weekends. That store sells balloons, candles, games, and other things for birthday parties. Judy sees birds and wild animals when she walks in the woods. She plants tulips, daffodils, and daisies in the summer. And that's how you do it. You pronounce your S on the verb and also on any plural nouns, okay? And that's it, easy. English is easy. So let's switch back to the other screen and get rid of that. Oh no. Let's try that again. Switch back to the other screen. See, now it works. I don't know why. Okay. So um, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also get yourselves a copy of Basic English 3rd Edition. It'll help you so much. It's a very complete workbook um, published by McGraw-Hill, and you will find it on Amazon. Answer key at the back. Also, to help you perfect your verb tenses, we have um, English verb tenses, a very, very complete book to perfect your verb tenses, also on Amazon. Did I already say that? I don't think so. And um, I will see you guys in the next lesson. I'm going to start that in a few minutes. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.